Hi friends, this is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about how to write form validation, how to perform form validations in web application. First of all, we will try to understand what is form validation. Verifying pattern and format of the form data. Verifying pattern and format of the form data is called what? Form validation. What do you mean by pattern? Required values must be typed. Date should be there in DD, MM, YY pattern. Time should be there in HM, HH colon, MM colon, SS pattern. That is called pattern. Format means what? A should be there as numeric value. Credit card number should have 16 digits. Okay. Email ID should have at the rate comma dot symbol. This is called format. Verifying pattern and format of the form data is called as what? Form validation. So, it is all about, uh, where is this? Verifying the pattern and format of the form data. Nice. Whatever logic we write for that is called as form validation logic. What is the importance of form validation? Simple. Before using form data in business logic or request processing logic as input values, it is recommended to verify the pattern and format of the form data. It is always suggested to verify the pattern and format of the form data so that business logic will try to generate valid results or business logic will try to uh, will avoid the exceptions. Otherwise, what happened without verifying format and pattern of the form data, if form data is used in business logic as input values, business logic may end with what? Generating errors. May end with what? Throwing exception or may, may give what? Wrong results or may insert wrong data in the database table. For example, one student registration form is there. No form validations are applied. Servlet has received the data in the business logic form data is read and whatever came that is inserted into the table as a record. Okay. So, no validations are done. No, if after few days if they observe the data, email id is not having at the rate symbol, is is having alphabets, some required fields are not typed, okay. address is having only two letters. Do you think that data is going to work out for real purposes? No. So, that is why do not use form data as it is in our application. First validate it, then use it as what? Input data in business logic or request processing logic. So, that my business logic and request processing logic can generate valid result, can perform valid operation. So, there will not be any problem towards using what? Form data as input values of what? Business logic uh, or persistence logic. So, whatever logic you write for it is called as what? Form validation logic. So, now you may ask me what is the difference between business logic and form validation logic? What is the difference between business logic and form validation logic? Business logic or request processing logic, take the form data as input value, process the data executes the logic, generates the results. Form validation logic takes the form data, but verifies just pattern and format of the form data. For example, a first value, second value is there. I want to check whether they are typed or not, form validation logic. If typed, I want to check whether they are typed as what? Numeric values or not, form validation logic. Next, I want to take both numbers, I want to perform addition of two numbers. So, that comes under what? Business logic or request processing logic. Next, checking is is typed or not, form validation logic. Is is typed as numeric value or not, form validation logic. Is is there in between 1 to 100 or 125, is what? Form validation logic. So, taking that is and checking whether that person is eligible to vote or not, above 18, eligible to vote, below 18, not eligible to vote. Okay, a person is eligible to marriage or not, above 21 and gender is male, 
gender is what male eligible to vote otherwise not eligible to marry not vote marry marriage gender is female above 18 years above greater than or equal to 18 years eligible to marries so this like this we can have n number of things possible so that is the difference between form validation logic and what business logic but remember one thing don't use form data as input values in your business logic without validation if you do that either business logic may end up with what rising exception if you do that business logic may generate wrong results business logic may generate wrong results fine boss shall we go for how many ways are there to do form validations so we can write form validation form validations in our web application in two ways one is server side one is client side form validation one side client one side server in form page javascript or vb script code will be placed to perform form validation in html or because we like we can write a form page html or or jsp form page form page we place javascript or vb script to write form validation logic let us assume form is there in a .html file or .jsp file in the same page we write either javascript or vb script to perform form validation why it is called client side see forms html or jsp basically there in web application web application stays in web server but whenever i give request whenever i give request to that web application that form page comes to browser executes in browser so browser means what client side so along with the form page javascript code or vb script code comes and executes in browser that's why this logic is called what client side because browser is always called client of the web application web application development environment client is what browser so javascript is better vb script is better javascript is better why it runs in all browsers okay it is object based and many facilities are there vb script runs only in one two specific browser given by microsoft and it's not so user friendly so all people cannot learn that much easily and you don't believe microsoft asp.net developers also prefer using what javascript to do the what client side form validation that means the original vendor itself not believing vb script to write the form validation logic because that will not run in all browsers but javascript runs in what all browsers sir why the word java has come in javascript actually there is no link between java and javascript here java word is used in javascript only to take the advantage of java popularity but this lesson also taken from what vb script because there is no link much link between vb and vb script but vb word is added in vb script by microsoft only to take the advantage of vb popularity because visual basic was very popular programming language earlier so to just take the advantage of that popularity they added word vb in what vb script by seeing that so netscape people approached sun microsystem my competitor is using what vb in vb script to make his vb script very popular so i want to use your java word in my what scripting language name to make my what java script popular my make what scripting language popular in that process sun microsystem said yes to for that process then on words okay both sun microsystem and what netscape people together improvising started improvising what java script okay na so what do mean by scripting language the language whose code must be embedded with what other technology code other language code other environment code for execution is called as what scripting language javascript code vb script code cannot be executed independently it must be added to what html tags it must be embedded to what html code for execution so that's why it is called as what client side sorry scripting language what language here scripting language so where is this one server side 
Java code based form validation logic, servlet oblique JSP components before business logic or request processing logic. Before business logic or request processing logic. Okay, I am not talking form validations on every application, form validations in Java web application. So, once again see how many ways are there to write form validations in Java web application client side, server side. Client side means what? You have to write JavaScript or what? VB script code in HTML or JSP based form page. Along with the form page that script code comes to browser executes in browser. That is why it is called client side. Server side. Anyhow, servlet JSP components are what? Server side component because they executes in server. So, in those components only after reading form data before executing business logic or request processing logic place form validation logic in the form of Java statement. So, that is why it is called what? Server side. Java code it runs in server that is why it is called as what? Server side. Okay. Again I am requesting, again I am requesting do not decide whether form validation logic is what client side or server side based on the place where it resides. Decide it based on the place where it what executes. See location wise every web component is server side component. How HTML, JSP, image files, audio files, RLED, JSP, uh, CSS file all these will be there in web application. Web application is deployed in what? Web server. Web server means what? Server side. Location wise everything is what? Server side. But still we are saying some of them as what? Client side component, server side component. Not based on the place where they reside, where they stay. Decide it based on the place where they execute. When I give request to HTML file, it comes to browser for execution. That is why HTML code or HTML files are called client side component. Along with HTML, JavaScript code also comes na? and JavaScript code also executes in browser. Na? Why? To execute JavaScript code, what is required? JavaScript engine and that is why it is called as what? Client side. What is that? Client side. Okay. Similarly, to execute HTML, what is required? HTML interpreter, where is there? In the browser. Browser maintains HTML interpreter and JavaScript engine. So, that is why they come to browser for execution. That is why they are called client side. Java code executes where? Along with the servlet JSP that executes in server. Okay. That is why it is called as what? Server side. Okay. So, final conclusion is do not decide whether form validation logic is client side or server side based on the place where it resides or stays. Decide it based on the place where it what? Executes. From server when requested they come to browser for execution client side. If they stay and execute in server that called what? Server side. So, anyhow some discussion happened before talking different approaches of placing Java form validation logic, let me talk difference between what Java and JavaScript. Actually, I should not compare both. Why? It is a programming language. Who Java? JavaScript is what? Scripting language. Better to compare one programming language with another programming language. It is really meaningless to compare what? one programming language with one scripting language. But since Java is there in both places, people generally tempted to compare Java and what? JavaScript. For that reason, I am talking here. That too, to perform server side form validation, we use what? Java code placed in servlet JSP. That is why. Java client side form validation logic, what is recommended? JavaScript. So, that is the reason somehow I am taking the chance to what? Compare Java and JavaScript. Otherwise, it is meaningless to compare Java and JavaScript. But still, I will say one thing here. Java is like Amitabh Bachchan and JavaScript is like what? Abhishek Bachchan. So, Bachchan is there, but it does not mean they are both are equal. Amitabh Bachchan is a legend actor and Abhijay Bachchan is what? Not a proven actor. So, better not to compare both people. Better not to compare both people because, because 
Amitabh Bachchan is a great, great, great proven actor and still is struggling to prove who Abhishek Bachchan. So that's why better not to compare Amitabh Bachchan and Abhishek Bachchan. Similarly, Java and Java script should not be compared. But since Java is there, somehow we tempt to compare. See, if you compare hero with hero, there is a meaning. If you compare hero with comedian, hero with character artist, hero with some other character artist, it's meaningless. So always hero looks great and here also Java always looks great. Anyhow, discussion has come. That's why I, hope I want to talk comparison between both given by Sun Microsystem given by Sun Microsystem plus Netscape. Basically Netscape but later Sun Microsystem also join given by Sun Microsystem. Next it is to execute Java code, to execute Java code, JRE plus oblique JVM, right, here JavaScript engine is required, engine of browser is required, because ja, browser is required, given by Sun Microsystem, given by Sun Microsystem plus Netscape, to execute Java code, JRE oblique JVM is required. JavaScript engine of browser is required, right? It is object oriented because it supports all OOPS principles. It is object based. It is object based language. Object based means what? Class, object, inheritance, polymorphism. Inheritance and polymorphism will not be there in object based. Class object will be there, encapsulation will be there, abstraction will be there. But in object oriented, class object, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, abstraction, everything will be there. Right. Mm. Can be used to develop all kinds of applications. Yeah, we can use this Java to develop standalone application, web application, distributed application, enterprise application. So, just useful in, just useful in web application. It is just useful in what web application? We cannot use everywhere. It is just useful in what web application? Right. In web application, Java based components are, components, Java based components are, Servlet oblique JSP or server side components where in web application, yeah, if I develop servlet JSP component, they are basically Java based, no, they are server side component. So, in web application, JavaScript is client side, client side, client side technology or client side code because it cannot be used directly, it should be embedded with HTML to for execution. So these are the major differences between what Java and JavaScript. So JavaScript contains objects, class, object, everything is there, but we cannot see inheritance and what polymorphism kind of thing, but here we can enjoy everything. That is why it is called object oriented, this is called what object based. So, these are the major differences between Java and what? JavaScript. As I said, I am comparing only for namesake. Technically speaking, better not to compare one programming language with what? Scripting language. So, if I want, I can give one more difference here. If it is programming language, it is scripting language. So, like this, we have differences between Java and JavaScript. So, this is basic introduction of how to do form validations in Java web application. So, different approaches of doing form validations, how to use JavaScript, how to use uh, Java code for form validation, we, I will discuss in the next video. Do not miss the next video. Thank you. Have a nice time. Mm -hmm.